process here, ability to receive and to give and to share. To be in your feminine, to be willing to be wrong sometimes. And that goes for me too. Because in relationships, basically the cardinal rule is, do you want to stay together or do you want to be right? kind of a shitty rule sometimes, but it's true. It's like you either want to be right or you want to stay in love. Sometimes you just got to be wrong. Right, baby? <laughs> I love you. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Happy V-Day. I wanted to show you what Danny got me for Valentine's Day. I gave him a love ritual with a singing bowl and rose petal adornment and handmade card. And my beloved gave me. Oh, it's so quick. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a trumpet. It's a cornucopia of cream from the South American bakery down the street from his house. It tastes the love. So delicious. <laughs> but I didn't do that love ritual for his reciprocal giving because basically to be in his divine feminine is to receive all my gifts and all that I have to offer and teach and and and, and adorn worship so he gets to be the flower in that ritual um, he is in the body of the masculine and to just surrender to this love these moments of love and this day of love and um, that's really what being the flower is about um, surrender to love, surrender to being feminine, surrender to being masculine. Um, and another theme that we picked was being wrong. <laughs> um, so allowing yourself to not fight back or to not be so reactionary. And <clears throat> we are both working on that and listening to each other better. Me, I <laughs> need to listen better. Um, and yeah, so a lot of <laughs> loving without attachment is basically that you give someone a gift and their only gift back is to receive that gift. And I think that that was a demonstration of loving without attachment. <laughs> but his assignment, he's not going to get away with not doing anything in return, <laughs> actually. Um, I, d I told him that I wanted him to write me, make me a Valentine's card. So I think that's fair. I'm, I'm looking forward to when he returns. He's basically traveling on the road to work as a magician. Cloverdale, um, and we did that also as our departure ritual because they um, coach people into doing departure rituals and um, homecoming rituals, which is from this book, Wired for Love, which I've been reading throughout my entire relationship with Danny, and it's helped me understand how our partner brains work. Um, and the different things, uh, different types of people, like I'm an island, I'm very independent, so I never thought I was codependent because I always loved being by myself, I love my alone time, I love like actually getting work done when my partner's not here, I like that, I, I like that he's away sometimes, because um, I'm an island, um, just different information like that, he's also an island, um, but what I like to emphasize today is cardio strength, because for me, I've always been in really great shape. I can swim 15, 20 laps, um, all the various swimming strokes. I took martial arts for four years. Um, we used to do like 100 push-ups in a day over, you know, four sets of 25. So I love my heart. I not only feel like I have a very strong heart, cardio strength, so doing push-ups and the, doing the, um, the cobra, opening up your heart center, and just being in cobra, upward dog, opening up your heart to the universe after <clears throat> doing 10 or 15 push-ups your heart will be beating really fast and just be open up your heart and do 10 more push-ups that's what I was doing today because um, in order to be with um, someone who is as polyamorous as Danny is it takes for me a lot of heart strength um, so I was really trying to strengthen my heart so that I could you know love without attachment and <laughs> we can communicate and listen better. 
so we avoid drama. So the ritual was about that, cleansing. Leaving behind all that does not serve, opening the heart, just spreading open the depths of your love, and knowing that, you know, self-love is so important that um, being able to be alone um, and go to shows alone and eat alone all very important in the healthiness of your union. Um, so, on this day of love, heart giving, Thanksgiving, loves giving, whatever you want to call it, um, I wish you the best and that you um, continue to open your heart and receive because that is the gift to receive. Be in your divine feminine and receive and, and you're giving gifts. Mm. Looking forward to sharing my, uh, my loves giving, my Valentine's card with you. More so than my uh, my cream puff. <laughs>